Education officials are sounding the alarm tonight that New York State is in a reading crisis. The cause? How reading comprehension is being taught in schools. Yeah, and our partners over at Investigative Post, they are breaking down reading scores across the country and also right here in the city of Buffalo and sharing one approach that could start a whole new chapter for students learning to read. Reading remains the best way to write a child's future. Yet in the United States, only about one third of elementary fourth graders read at grade level. And in New York, that number is lower, just 30%, which is why the Empire State ranks 39 among 50 when it comes to reading. Jeff Smank, the Deputy Director of Education Trust New York, is sounding the alarm. I am blown away that there's no outrage, like that people aren't marching in the streets, that our foundations aren't saying we have an emergency, we have a crisis. There are several reasons why it's a crisis, including the way children are taught to read. One approach, balanced literacy, teaches kids to read by looking at images, context clues, and guessing. Another approach, structured literacy, it's phonics based, and it uses the individual sounds of letters to teach kids to read. Okay. Research shows phonics based instruction does a better job of teaching young kids to read especially those not at the top of the learning scale. The research is crystal clear. It's been around for, for decades. And really what it shows is 95% is of kids can learn to read if they get the right support. That's why 30 states have either adopted phonics-based reading instruction or are moving in that direction, but not New York. Instead, the Empire State allows each of its 731 school districts to choose its own method of teaching reading. My review of district documents and strategic plans of Erie County School Districts shows that few are using phonics as their core reading instruction. Most are using balanced, sometimes in association with phonics. The result? Just 4 in 10 elementary pupils read at grade level according to standardized test results. Students in the Williamsville and Clarence School Districts scored the highest on those tests. They also draw students from two of the region's most affluent communities. In less affluent areas, the results fall dramatically. Fewer than one in five students in Lackawanna read at grade level. Test scores also lag in Cheektowaga Central and in Buffalo. When I actually saw on print, you know, the numbers, um, it was tough. You know, it was tough. Buffalo City School Superintendent Dr. Tanja Williams says reading scores have been low for years. To improve them, Buffalo has enlisted phonics-based instruction according to the district's chief academic officer, Ann Botticelli. I know there have been reading wars going on. People have certain philosophies about reading instruction in general, uh, but we're trying to follow the science. I think it's what we need to do to, to make sure that all students can read effectively. And early results are encouraging. For example, in 2019, 22% of third graders at School 45 on the city's west side read at grade level. After three years of phonics instruction, 43% were proficient in literacy. Um, so I do think that we are seeing those gains, but I do know it's gonna take time as well. However, reading comprehension remains abysmally low at some schools. Here at Martin Luther King School near the Fruit Belt neighborhood, not a single fifth grader read at sufficient levels last year. If at the end of my contract term, it hasn't been done or it doesn't look like we're moving towards it, if we're not progressing that way, you know, then, then there should be someone else that can take them there. Despite the low reading scores, experts said Buffalo schools are on the right path. For Channel 2 News, I'm Garrett Looker with Investigative Post. Very good, Garrett. Thank you for that report. And to read more about this story and others from Investigative Post, you can visit investigativepost.org or our website, wgrz.com, and just look for the Investigative Post tab.